everyone, Ben Choi or Space Meat here with build log number 10, I think now, in the uh, Athlon build log. So today is Sunday before Comic Con. I have today to finish everything. Well, I guess technically I have today and tomorrow night because I'm leaving Tuesday night and I obviously I'm packing the car so there's no time to actually get work done on Tuesday. So I have pretty much one full day and one night to get everything done. As you can see from all the armor in front of me, I'm pretty much in the painting stages here. I still have to do undersuit, so that's probably my major foot push for today, but I at least want to show you the painting, because this is basically what my girlfriend's up to while I'm off working on other stuff. Uh, I guess, let's see, let's go through updates. So, um, as you saw from the last log, I was dyeing it, and it still didn't seem very dark, so I finally let it dry, and it is pretty light, still nearly gray. As it turns out, my critical mistake was I was supposed to have the temperature much higher and keep it basically boiling the whole time instead of in a bucket. So <laughs> I'm going to redo that. Um, my sister is coming over today. She's got a burner, a steel pot, and we are going to basically cook my suit in the garage, and we're going to do a take two on that. So we'll see how that goes. But before any of that, I'll at least give you an update on all this stuff, because I know I don't talk about painting very often, because I don't do the painting very much. but or at least pretty basic, but I'll give you a rundown of all the stuff you see here. Um, I guess firstly, I had to pick paints, so I spent a lot of time like grabbing acrylics and stuff. I guess um, the majority of this paint is actually house paint, latex-based house paint. It's actually the same formulation I used in my Reach Armor, however they changed it over the years, so it seems to be slightly bluer or something like that. Like. This is my old Reach helmet, and you can see there's a slight color difference, but also it's because this helmet is covered in dirt. Like, years upon years of me wearing it at a con has just made it very, very... It's definitely darkened, darkened it, you know, it's natural weathering. So, this armor may look incredibly bright right now, but I anticipate if in a year it will look weathered and darker. Um, so, in any case, I have lots of test pieces of foam here that I was trying out different colors on. Uh, one thing I've realized that I'm now changing up from different years is I'm not using primer anymore. So, in previous years, especially in my Reach Armor, I noticed that the armor had a tendency to crack over time. And it was I thought, okay, maybe it's because um, I'm doing something wrong with the way I'm building it or I'm using the wrong paint. And I realized the paint itself is latex-based, which is very flexible. The under the layer underneath is, is plastidib. The thing in between, though, is paint primer, and that was not very flexible. So you can see, I started just painting directly onto the plastic dip, which I noticed, you know, has enough adhesion anyhow that the primer is not so necessary. So, you know, it's definitely reducing the cracking problem. I think when the paint completely sets, it still cracks, but not as bad as it was, you know, in when I had the primer. So, there you go you can paint directly onto plastic dip, and it saves me a lot of time, honestly. So, skip, you can skip primer. Uh, so I just used my house paint here. Uh, what else? So at this point, we put down a light base layer because the lighter colors are easier to hide with darker colors than putting down, let's say, a dark base layer and then putting light on top of that, because that takes many layers. So it's light right now. You can see, like, here on this forearm, I've uh, basically taped off my details using, well, painter's tape. So you can see, like, here's the triangle and all of that, and then when you strip it off, you get this. It needs a little bit of cleanup right now, just because of some of the paint leaked through, so I suggest when you do this, get higher quality paint tape than Harbor Freight blue tape, because it's totally leaking through. I should go find some green tape for this. Well, I don't even know why I did it like this. This, by the way, was incredibly painstaking. You just sit here with a pair of scissors and tape, and you just, you know, make the shapes you want. It took a very long time. But... That pretty much covers painting. It's pretty basic. Um, what else? Oh yeah, obviously lay down stuff so you don't get a mess. Or make a mess. I think that pretty much covers it. Uh, in other news, here's the helmet. All plastic, ready for a base layer t today. Um, I've put in fiberglass, again, like here in the front and in the back, just mostly to help it hold shape. And now, I can actually put a helmet in here. Let me throw a visor. See, visor stays in here. And you can see the, the helmet is no longer deforming when the visor is in here. You know, the hel or the visor is putting out force, but the helmet can push back with the fiberglass, so it's now staying in the same shape. Awesome. I'm going to have to go out to the store, and I'm going to buy some little screws, and I'm going to stick them in here. So this is nearly done. Just needs visor, bands, padding, and stuff like that. 
Uh, word of advice, so something I've learned from previous years, is before you even bother sticking the helmet in here after the fiberglass, make sure you have a Dremel tool and you just run it all along the inside and make it smooth. Because fiberglass tends to set sharp and will scratch your visor if you're not paying attention. So make sure, before you ever put the visor in here, to sand the thing inside, you know, very thoroughly. Otherwise, you will get a scratch in your visor and you put it in and you ruin your visor and you'd be like, oh. So, I learned this from my mistakes, like I said. Learn from my mistakes. There's a new lesson for you. Uh, let's see, other mistake I learned, at least, is, I'm gonna tell you now, is to uh, use much stronger adhesives when it comes to glues. So I used to, I used a uh, JB Weld epoxy to hold these magnets in place, but they've been steadily being uh, torn out, like this one right here. And it turns out that I should use a much stronger glue. So I've started replacing all the ones that have been coming out with Gorilla Glue. So you can see like here, 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 it's all Gorilla Glue. These have not come out yet. This one came out because this was epoxy. And so I'm going to, today, put some Gorilla Glue in here and make sure it stays in place. But at the same time, it's not so bad. So you can see, because I think it's, these magnets are incredibly strong. So, you know, the old adhesives I used were definitely not enough. So I just need something stronger. So I grabbed Gorilla Glue. Uh, I think that pretty much covers it. There we go. I think that pretty much covers all the intro stuff for, for this update. Um, obviously at this point, I'm gonna go try to dye the suit again. So we're gonna go to that footage. All right, so as you can see, I'm dying it again. And so this time I've got like a little propane stove down there and it's keep, keeping it at a constant simmer. So it's much hotter, you can just tell by the steam coming out of it. And hopefully the suit will be darker. I'm, there we go, checking on occasion to make sure I can still see the, the pattern. It's hot. <laughs> so uh, wish me luck on this one. Let's see how it goes, right? Okay. All right, so that pretty much covers that footage and this update. Uh, thanks for watching as usual. As you can see, things are moving incredibly fast. I'm really running out of time, but I'm feeling I'm in a decent spot. Definitely all of this will be painted by the end of the day. The undersuit's the big unknown, but I'm gonna work hard and fast on that. Uh, the next update is probably gonna be filmed at Comic-Con, or maybe just the last one here before we leave, but within, we're pretty much nearing the end of the road. So if you've actually been watching all of these videos, really, Thanks for watching. You know, I hope you actually learned something, because I always make mistakes, so... I'm sure I've given you plenty to learn from in this one. Uh, and uh, hopefully soon enough you'll see this completed outfit. So, thanks for watching.